Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Offensive Line. We're your hosts, Josh and Hanson. This season, we've been focusing on Christian cliche sayings and actions and seeing if they're biblical or not. And this week, we're talking about, I'm doing better than I deserve. Usually, it's in response to when someone asks you how you're doing, instead of the common and default response of, I'm doing well or even the more popular, grammatically incorrect, I'm doing good. <laughs> Someone might respond with, I'm doing better than I deserve. I actually quite like this phrase. It gets at something I think is very important for the Christian to have, which is thankfulness or gratitude. In fact, it's so important that it's hanging up on my wall if you look behind me. So many people today like to complain. They like to grumble and it affects their attitude in life. And this is not how the Christian should be. Philippians 2 says that we are to do all things without grumbling. In 1 Thessalonians 5, Paul says to rejoice always and in everything give thanks. When you say to someone, I'm doing better than I deserve, you're pointing to the reality which is that all mankind deserves and is going to go to hell. Romans 3.23 says that we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Falling short of the glory of God means that we've turned away from God's law. We've broken his law and criminals who break the law deserve punishment. We're all born as criminals, and what we deserve is hell, unless we turn away from our sin and place our faith in Christ. The Christian is someone who has done this and will instead be going to heaven because of his faith in Christ. While he does deserve hell, just as all men do, he won't be going there. So from the reference point of hell, he is doing much better than he deserves. And for that, there can be no complaints. There should be no complaints. So it's a cool thing to say about yourself, which can be a fun segue into the gospel. It can also serve as a reminder to other Christians that we should always have an attitude of thanksgiving. But it becomes a problem when you tell this to others, when you tell people to stop complaining because they are doing better than they deserve. While true, it can be completely lacking in tact. When a friend has just lost a loved one, and is grieving, hopefully you wouldn't say this to them. Job's friends do this all the time. If we want to be good communicators and good biblical friends, we need to learn a little tact. Sometimes it's not what you say, but when you say it. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. The point of this video is not to bash the wording of I'm doing better than I deserve. Instead, it's that this phrase can be a useful one, but it's more about the timing of when it's used. All Christians are doing better than we deserve because what we deserve is help. But think about the timing and occasion before you remind someone of this hard truth. I'm doing better than I deserve is something you can personally say about yourself at any time in any place, whether life is going really well for you or you're going through a particularly difficult season. But before you say to someone else that they should be thinking this, think it through. Is it the most loving thing to say in the moment? I know that we've said over and over that what is loving is what will point people to Christ. So not only is it loving, but is it gentle? Because first Peter says, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you, yet with gentleness and reverence, with gentleness and reverence. So are you guys doing better than you deserve? Let us know down below in the comment section. You can also let us know if you have any other thoughts or suggestions for future video topics. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for some more of the offensive line. We hope you've been encouraged by this video and all of our previous videos as well. We are the offensive line and we're uncomplicating the complicated. And we'll see you next week. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. My soul, my soul, and all that's within me, praise Him. Bless the Lord.